So I'm going to show you how to configure DNS over TLS using systemd resolve view. First of all, you're going to want to inst install systemd resolve d. I'm going to do this through the systemd network package, but it might differ by your distribution. So first, first of all, applications using glibc's NSS resolve are not going to be using resolve.com. The only thing that we need to really need to configure for a D, for system D network D to work is resolve.com. There's four ways of doing that, and I'll show you how. First of all, enable enable service. It's And also start it. Now we started it. We're going to read the contents of resolve.com. Right now, it's right now it's being set by netconfig. Just making sure that things see it works. Um, so there's four ways of configuring resolve.com. The first one is to keep the existing behavior where the application is allowed to talk directly to the DNS server. There's four, but we are only going to be talking about two. That was the first one. The second one is where it talk, talks to a local, a local server. I mean, not a server. Communicates to network D as if it was a DNS server through a lo local address. For that, we're going to create. We're going to overwrite. Just going to find this real quick. Uh, let's really for that. There we go. So now we're going. To, we're going to over. I'm going to show you how to do it at the local uh, local address in the, in the local listening port hosted by systemd so we're going to overwrite uh, we're going to overwrite resolve.com remember to use the force option on link to overwrite it and by creating a symbolic link um yeah, stop resolve.com i'll show you what the contents will be now that we created it let's run Run that yeah, now we can see the name server has changed from my local address uh, I mean my router to a local address on this PC this will this will allow us to say uh, to force applications that use resolve.com to talk to a certain ser to talk us to a certain server that we will set through resolve D so now that so now that has been finished we're gonna move on to So currently the server is my router. We're gonna enter system D in the list. Uh, this is uh, th these are this is basically the, def the default configuration, the fallback servers. The default server is the one that's set over DHCP, which is usually your router. Your router will forward it to the ISP DNS, and then, and then that will respond. But we will be able to set a DNS by ourselves through Resolve D. Let me see if I have anything. No. Okay. 
so if now if we want to pre configure this we're gonna have to change um what is it called we're gonna have to change this configuration however this file will be overwritten in in an upgrade so we're gonna create a directory called resolve d dot dot d and enter that okay and then create a new file called whatever you want to call it you start off with the res saying resolve in back brackets and then first first you're going to change the change the fallback dns because the fallback dns has been set at the runtime if if you don't want it to fall back to the to the google cloud fair cloud Flare and quad nine dns servers but you want to set your own fallback servers you can do that for me i'm going i'm going to just not have a fallback server and that's how you set no, no fallback server. Do not put anything there. Next, we're gonna do DNS over TLS equals yes. And next, we're gonna set our own DNS. Okay, let me take a quick look. back here you're gonna say DNS equals I'm gonna be using Cloudflare you can use your own and then now we're gonna use the associated address that we have a certificate for I don't I entirely understand how this works but it's not really important for this so I'm just gonna take it and here's here it is in here if yeah that's it uh, do not do not enable DNSCC to yes that will cause problems I guarantee you 